Okay, well this is a replication of a project that uh, Slider and a guy named Milky Way Outcast have put together and it's based on my penny oscillator circuit that was a jewel thief um, where right in here on the base circuit I had put a capacitor and a um, one meg um, variable resistor and then I made the coils out of steel wire twist tie wire put a capacitor up here and it run on very very low input and what this guy did right here Milky Way Con Outcast he took out the capacitor and the resistor and the darn thing oscillates without that if you have a very low power input this will actually oscillate. Now I've got a radio here tuned to a null station so you can hear it. And that's what it sounds like. Now the capacitor I'm using is a 10 microfarad. You can go on up to 100 microfarad and it changes the pulse rate or you can go down. If I pull that capacitor this will actually continue to oscillate, but you won't see much of a flash here because there's so little energy coming in there. Um, Milky Way Conquest is the one that I'm really uh, attributing to this find and this invention. And I'll, I'll give a link to his videos and then the Slider's videos. Now what Slider's done with the circuit is he's linked them together. And he's joined up the output right here in a series fashion in such a way that he's actually gaining... A, uh, a voltage increase, a power increase by linking them together and he wants to do a whole bunch of them and make like a power uh, cube chip type of thing to show how you can have a very low input power source and then link these circuits together and come up with something that's uh, really interesting. So anyway, uh, what we're using here are chokes. These are chokes, one wound one way and one wound the other way. Um, like a jewel thief is where the start and the end go together and then you link it up to a, a transistor. Now normally there's a resistor in here and a normal jewel thief and that's all there is to a jewel thief. works down to about half a volt or so. Adding this capacitor right here, if the voltage is very low, it still oscillates. And I found that really, really interesting. Now, the reason I named my penny oscillator a penny oscillator was because it would run on a battery made out of um, a copper penny. And a copper penny inside is zinc. If you take off the copper, the zinc. So you put the copper penny and then the sanded down copper penny on it, piece of uh, paper towel, paper clip, some water between it, and now you got the, the power needed to run with these really low power oscillators. Now the granddaddy of all of this is the penny oscillator, which is that right there. And that's made with those uh, twist tie wires um, that you got at the dollar store. And then that circuit with the uh, added one meg potentiometer and then the capacitor going to the base. Now this project right here, is a replication of one that um, Magnet Man 2000 posted where he ran the thing I guess for a year on a battery and I've been working on this uh, for over a year and it's um, really interesting I may give a report a separate video on that but basically that penny oscillator is reduced down by not having a capacitor and a resistor between one of the coils and the base of the resistor. It's just naked. It's just simple. So I'm just calling it the simple penny oscillator. But uh, this guy right here, Milky Way Conquest, Outcast, I'm sorry. I'll give the link to that video. And he put a ammeter, microammeter on that thing. And this is running down in the microamps. I don't know what we can do with this. But when I heard this... What comes to my mind is pulse motor. I don't know. Maybe there's some way to take that pulse and use that pulse to trigger a pulse motor. I don't know. 
Anyway, that's the latest. Thank you to uh, Slider and Milky Way Outcast for this, uh, I'm considering a new circuit. Thank you.